Okay, ready? Oh, there's one back there, too. Hi, ma'am. Hello, miss. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, um, Stans, thank you so much for the raid. Hi. Uh, we're helping my neighbor on his farm today. Um, this, there's a baby goat in here that he called me at like 8 a.m. this morning and its mom uh, had birthed him and then left him like just on the ground soaking wet. So I picked him up this morning and dried him off and put him in here. And now my neighbor and I are gonna try to pair him back up with his mom. There's a baby. He was born this morning. He's really cute. He's actually doing shockingly well for having not eaten yet today. Little baby. But I was here for like an hour and a half this morning trying to figure out who his mom was. And got, there's also a baby back here. Hey, you wanna, <laughs> Sue, you wanna come with me? Why are you back here? I, The dog is not going to eat it. She's a livestock guardian dog. That's Chibouk. She protects them. Only two. Oh, two goats. The llamas. There's another one. This one, oh, I think, is a day old or something. He was back there. Not sure. Maybe she had twins and had them in different spots. This one's this one's dry. Not oh, by oh, me. Oh, 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 not by you. No. Then that one goes. I know who that one goes to. To his, uh, her. It's a girl, right? Um. Yep. Yeah. She. I kept looking for. Her. Let's let's put, put her, her over here group. since they walked away. Yeah, oh, I've been wondering where that one was. Now, though, I have no idea who her mother is. If she's a girl, I don't even know what sex this one is. Yeah, girl. This brown one? So that one, oh, wait. That's the one I don't know. That's the one I, I wasn't sure. I don't know who her mother is. Also a girl. That one goes with that one. Their mother is brown, too. Okay. That Which one did you dry off? This one. Oh, it was black. Yeah. Then what sex is it? I don't know. Boy. Okay. So, I don't think it's eaten at all. Okay, no. so I'll take it. Okay. Let's see how close I... Oh, Guys, good. That's Eric. its mother. No, that's he its, doesn't care not that its here. mother. <laughs> that, here, girl. All right, we're gonna wait over here because uh, we can wait with these. Yeah, babies. you probably better not get too close with them. Just run. Bah. 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 He does not care. Bah. 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 Get back. Bah. There you go. He speaks to them. Bah. Um, but we have to wait over here because uh, his goats are kind of scared of now me. Now I'm going to back up and give the mom a chance to think about it. Eric had some knee injections this morning, so uh, that's why it's the last uh, minute stream. Um, uh, he just needs help taking care of everybody today. He's not supposed to be walking around, actually, at all. Let's think. But I tried... Hello? I tried for an hour and a half this morning to catch the mom and I couldn't because they're afraid of me and not afraid of Eric. So. Do you want your bucket, Eric? Uh, no. <laughs> the injections they gave me. This is why they told me to be careful. My, Are you going to try to catch better. her? It doesn't hurt as bad. Okay. But that's why they said, but don't act like it isn't damaged yeah but it really bothers me and she is going to be hard to catch i'm going to get some grain 
he really needs some milk yeah and that will cause the bonding so let me get the grain and if you see I'm holding on to her hey Dorlin hi Dorlin hi it's like oh. I want to go help him, wait but it's wait the away. I think I can take her there did you get her do you want help or is it gonna make I it worse I think this is her I hope it's the mother she's wet at the tail do you want me to come grab her uh no uh but maybe a little grain and okay. we'll go back to where i'm gonna lock her up okay isn't it amazing how much friendlier she is with me yeah no kidding i did not get that close today all right we're gonna hey, grab girls. some grain, guys come Hello. on oh. bye bye excuse me bye bye are they dangerous? Uh, yeah, they're really dangerous. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was gonna catch it. Uh, these two were born, these were the first born here, like this past week. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Getting some grain? Not for you, I don't think you eat grain yet. Oh. Little. Come on. Uh, oh. oh, another one. They just there hear him go. doing his batting thing oh my god oh oh they're crazy excuse me <laughs> i can't believe how quick he caught that goat it actually is like embarrassing for me here you go here there you go. Is that the right one? Yeah, and see the leg? Look at her oh, leg. Oh, <laughs> cute. And her mother has the same leg. Really? Yeah, How this specific. this is the third generation of that leg. Now just give me the food and then... And then back up? Back up. Cause oh my gosh, Eric. Here you go. She's... Okay. Okay, all right. It's okay, right. baby. Here, here, look. Here, look. Yes. <laughs> And what I'll do is I'll tie her up, uh -huh. and then she'll be more secure. I think I do, like doing it in a certain way. Hey, baby. See, when it's just me, she's pretty tight. I know. <laughs> Almost let her get Almost. away. Almost. <laughs> okay, now I'll, oh, this makes me feel much better. And I love seeing that the characteristic leg pattern is on the baby. That's it really, so funny. Yeah, it really helps reassure me that, sure enough, okay, baby, let me get my foot out. Do you want me to grab your bucket now, or are you going to sit on that? Yeah. Great, all right, I got it. So, I spoke prematurely. Okay. This man. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Here you go. Okay, scoot over here. It's okay. Scoot over here. There you go. Livestock dogs don't like it when you run at them. <laughs> here we Good go. Good thing there's a fence there. Easy, baby. Except for Chibouk. She likes Easy, running. baby. Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, she's, she's not like, like this. Uh, take it to the end. <laughs> gonna knock that grain over. I should have moved it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, what's happening right now, guys? Is hey, is girl. this her first baby? Uh, no. Not her first baby. They, it's just she's a Nubian, and some of them have bad genetics like this. Yeah. Because a lot of Nubian breeders like them to be this way. I want to look back through my pictures just to be sure. I can't wasn't. believe how much energy that baby has. Well, it's the energy she gave into him before he was born. Hmm. And um, it'll last only so long. That's why uh -huh. it's very important to get him. I may have to just say... You're going to jump around too much, 
So what I do then, I pull their head right up against it. Mm -hmm. And I wrap it around their neck as well. And it'll keep them more still, especially when they're having this kind of problem as a mother. So what's happening? So I have to immobilize them. But um, the baby was born this morning. The mom had the baby, left it there, wet, didn't nurse it. Uh, because it was born this morning, it needs to nurse Good baby. as soon as possible, ideally like hours ago girl. at like 7 a.m. when it was here. born. Um, but the mom doesn't want to Easy nurse baby. the baby. So Eric Easy has the mom baby. in there and is latching the baby on to the mom Easy so that baby. it can get milk so it survives. There you go. Easy. And the hope here, baby. is that once go. the mom starts nursing, it'll like activate her hormones are so, they should already be activated she has there you go, but baby. hopefully once it starts nursing she'll accept it otherwise eric's gonna have to come in here and physically latch on the baby a few times a day to make sure that it's eating um why did she leave the baby there you go baby Bad genetics some you go. moms are just worse there than you others go. These are not my goats. These are my neighbor's goats. This is my neighbor's place. Easy, baby. Easy. Easy, baby. There you go. There you go. There you go, baby. Easy, hun. Do you want Easy. more grain? Huh? Do you want more grain? Uh, no. I okay. set it aside because she's too jumpy. One of the things I do... I put my hand on the back of the udder mm -hmm. so that when she kicks, it hits my hand, not the goat's head. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, and then I push Chibook. her front part, her chest, with my Chibook. knee to help her feel less mobile. Mm -hmm. Well, she's pretty, <laughs> she's pretty mobile. Come here, man. Yeah, your freshly Easy, injected knee. Easy. There you go. Okay, there. Someone asked what would happen if this happened in the wild, the baby would die. All right. There you go, darling. There you go. This is Chibook. Chibook. And I guess you know the nursing will stimulate hormones. I hope so. Okay. Chibook's a livestock guardian dog. But she knows who we are, so she's cool with it. <laughs> she's an Anatolian shepherd. Chibook. Please. Please. You're too big. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, I've been feeding him so good that he was born very healthy. He was born very healthy, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes if they there's poor nutrition, uh -huh. the uh, they're born so weak that you know this, by this time they could hardly even nurse. Yeah. So he's nursing vigorously. Good, good. And she's not fighting as much although she's standing on my foot oh my god i've got to get you off oh thank okay, you so cool. much that's fine is that comfy you there need you a spot do you want the other one here try this one sit good sit. try that one. Oh yes good try that sit. one so you think this will get you some hits, hopefully? There's people here watching. It's it's a live stream. Oh wow! Yeah. So there's there's uh oh, just over four thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! You can say hi to them. This is Eric, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's nursing good. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm really glad. It is, yeah. I'm surprised that they can go that long without having nursed and Even still be okay. Even 24 hours, but you're pushing it. Yeah. So, I usually like to have. I usually like it to happen minutes after they're born. Right. Yeah. You'd think. But I didn't even know what color he was. He still had all that fluid. And He's everything. really pretty. Yeah, he is pretty. So how many more does are going to kit out in this About fashion? About half of, of boar and half of, of these. Okay. Are still. So like 15 more to go? Yeah. Ish? Something like that. 15 more to go. Two babies each. You've got another 30 babies on the way. Ish. 
I can hardly wait till they're all born. <laughs> Babies everywhere. Chabuk. Holy shit, ma'am. <laughs> Gosh, she likes you. She's I guess a lap she remembers dog. when she was a puppy. She's a lap dog. Yeah, she is. <laughs> you know, when I got here this morning, Koss was really sweet. Really? Was letting me pet her, was wagging her tail. She was really sweet. Wow. Yeah, it was nice. She definitely remembers you. I hope so. You know, it's her sister that's having the puppies. Is her, it? Her litter sister. That's exciting. Yeah. She's not quite as, I don't know you, so I don't like you. Yeah. Oh, okay. But she's pretty dominant. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my. What a difference. His belly's all filling out all right. now. I'm going to get up now. Easy, baby. Okay. Easy, baby. Easy. Easy, baby. Okay. Oh, there God. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. Look at that. Look at Maybe that. not yet. Okay. All right. So this what I'll do, I will let her loose and spend some time with him. <laughs> She's like, yes, I want loose. Get me away from that baby. Honey, you're going to get hurt. Scoot over here. Chook. Okay. And then later I'll come out and catch her. Okay. And do the same thing. I, I usually do it like three times a day. Well, I know she's going to be scared of me, but in this pen I can manage to catch her too if you're in pain. Yeah, okay. Well, it might be easier in here, but remember that one goat, you weren't here, but my niece and sister remember. It, well, I guess it jumped on one of these and leaped out of it. Did it? It, oh. it was so afraid of my sister and my niece. Well. But hopefully, I hate that they're so afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she will be afraid, but I could catch her in there for sure. Yeah. Unless she jumps over, then I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and then all bets are off, but. Well, I, hopefully I'll be well enough to just come out and uh, and he'll be a lot more vigorous. Yeah. Because oh, he ate is. quite a bit. And, and I like her having the grain because it'll help her replenish. Would you mind putting water in here? Sure, sure. And probably use my bucket. What I usually do, I oh. come in... I get this bucket, get the water, walk over here, and pour it into that. Okay. And that way it'll be minimal for her. And while you're doing that, I'll just sit on one of these buckets. Great. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Screaming. Oh. Screaming's good. All right. We get some water. We fill. Hi, baby. Her you look so much better. Yes, you do. Hi, darling. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Hello. Go. Look at how fat you've gotten. Yes, you have. All that energy. You want me to pour it here? Yeah, or just I... pour it, and, and it'll only be about half full, but okay. it's got those cracks and stuff. Yeah, that'll be good. Good? Okay. Sorry, goat. <laughs> and then just <laughs> back off. Wait. Back okay, off. Okay. <laughs> she's going to jump out. Okay, come here, girl. Come here. But she's gone. You're all safe. Look at that. Okay, now you can come around. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I can't go near that yeah, thing. Yeah, she does what not like this? it. Oh, okay, go. Oh, did I jerk your hand? Nope. Okay, um, do you want me to get all these moms in the lane or try to do that? The reason I get them in the lane is I feed them and, and they're in the lane. Mm -hmm. And then I feed the llamas. If you don't have the goats out of here... The llamas can't eat. Can't eat because they all rush in and okay. eat the food. So do you if want me you to do try? that, that'd be great. We'll see if they will, or if they'll be too scared. All right, guys. So we're gonna move all the mom goats and soon-to-be mom oh. goats into the lane. 
No, no. Surely in. You have they a baby will just in here. Nope, nope, follow nope, me. nope. Nope, and nope, nope. Exit. There you go. This pasture. Um. Ouch. Hello. I need to open that door. Uh. And I'm afraid that you're both in the way. So I'm just gonna scooch past you. Excuse yes, you guys me. did. Come okay. on. No, uh, you can stay there if you want. Okay. Uh, the door's opening. No, yeah. Uh, stay there. We're gonna move all these mom goats out so that I can feed the llamas. Look at them. Little apricot babies. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. They're so adorable. <laughs> They're so cute. Those are both, were they both girls? No. No. The, the one on the right's a boy. Spotted is a girl and the back one is a boy. So cute. Okay, let's go, mom. Oh yeah, and go up to that gate. And I've already shut the, I've shut the lane. Uh, so oh, that, you want them in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the other gate's open. I shut it when I came in. Oh, did we you left it open. open. Do you want me to go close it? It has to be closed. Okay. It'll go crazy. Sorry. About That's okay. That. Um, do you wanna? Go close it and just like leave the backpack, maybe. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I have. Oh yeah, I have... your pickups in here. What? Your pickups in. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cos, he's okay, baby. He's fine. He's fine, Cos. She goes, he moved too fast. She does not like when we run. Yeah, fast movement is a potential danger. You guys are so cute. Have you named them? <laughs> yeah, I actually did give her a name. Really? I get, it's, uh... Roan black spots. Roan black spots. See, she's roan. That's very descriptive. <laughs> she has black spots. Yeah. But you know what? In all likelihood, it is possible they'll stay black. But another option is every black spot, the hair will grow out white. Yeah. And she'll be roan white spot. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have to change your name. It can evolve. How cool. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, I'm surprised you didn't dry. Um, you have oh. that other brown one with black spots too, right? Yes, Over that's there. a boy. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I know. He's very it cute. It seems like I have a higher percentage that are born with spots that are boys. It always goes that way. Yeah. I it's, had... Especially when I have the... In this case, it wasn't, but if I use a spotted male, mm -hmm. then it really definitely goes that way. Like three-fourths of the spotted ones are boys. I think my mom told you I had the two Nigerian dwarves and the female had three healthy, or the non-show quality one had three healthy does, and the yeah. show quality one had a boy and a stillborn. Yeah. Which, that's how it is. Which kind of is like a law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this dog is very sweet. That is Chabuk. Yes, she is very, very sweet, but... Because she, it's because she's very smart and mm -hmm. she sees who and who isn't mm -hmm. a threat. Yeah. Because when she decides something is a threat, and so far I've only seen her be that way to the dog, my neighbor's dog, mm -hmm. she is very, very scary. Mm -hmm. She's powerful about it. It's like, you will not come in here. Don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. And her, her protective instincts are ramped up with these babies being born. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She is. She really. She goes after like Koss and Tavir when there's like, a baby by the fence. There are babies here. Get out. Uh -huh. I don't know where we can trust you. Yeah. So, 
And, and that always happens. Yeah. With good Anatolians. When they smell the baby smells, they're they get more protective. Yeah. Oh, that's and cool. this is the first time she's just been with babies like this. Mm-hmm. And she was with them when they were born and everything. And she's great with them. She never did anything wrong. Were her and Cutla fighting? Uh, she didn't like Cutla being a little too close to the babies, and Cutla was desperately in love with them. Aww. And she was like, if she thought Cutla was a little too pushy with the babies, she'd jump on her and growl. And yeah. Didn't make holes. Yeah. Which, like, some of them do, but she definitely punished her. Right. And then I needed to get this space cleared. I'm going to have to move her somewhere else once all the babies are born. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to move, well, probably just before I bring the mom and her puppies here. I'm just stepping on it. Can't go. Okay. Because I don't know how she and Kizzy will get along. Oh. Kizzy may be too protective. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move the goats in the lane. Maybe. If they come with me. Um, yeah, all your bowers look great this morning. All the, well, okay. I saw six. So you didn't see any babies crying or acting like... Okay. One was crying while it was nursing, oh, well. <laughs> but figured that was fine. Well, you know, that must mean that she really did know it was her baby. She just didn't care at the time. Are there six? Babies? Yeah. I think there's more. I saw six. Maybe I was missing some. I can't remember. That could be six. Yeah, yeah, I think it was six. I okay. don't know. They keep on, being moms. born. <laughs> What's that? They keep being born and the number changes. Yeah. <laughs> that, does, that is how it works. Oh, and there's one still way out here, so be sure and call. Oh, okay. Come on, moms. And once you pour the food out along the driveway, they'll really come. Yeah, see, here she comes. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah, you have to step pretty far back. Ba, ba. I know what. Let me go up there, and I just leave it open. Okay. Because we want them up there anyway, and you guys step back, and I'll. Come here, Chibuk. Ba, ba, ba. Chibuk. Ba. I can't leave. Yes, you better hurry. No, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's gotten energetic. It's okay. I know I'm running. I'm sorry. Yeah, everybody's on high alert. Sorry, little. Sorry. You got to stay. All right. Huh. Okay. And I then. I forgot what that was. Do you want. Oh, blood draw. <laughs> do you want. Uh, your boars so out? now feed the llamas feed the llamas yeah because that that's why we moved those out yeah okay get the because i i tried and the llamas were getting nothing okay do they get a whole can or half? yeah and then i a split it 50 50 half of it goes on one side and half of it goes on the other and i'll start calling them llama 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 this is my favorite call Llama! Llama! I know they're not afraid of you. No, they're not. They've been hanging around. <laughs> and I uh, guess they thought, well, he's not going to give any. Llama! Llama! <laughs> llama! It's a good Where llama call. You guys should practice that. Llama! Llama! Where are they? Oh, they're coming. Oh, good. Okay. They're running. Yeah, they go, finally, our food. You ever seen a llama run shot? Do you see them? <laughs> llama! 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 Here they come. Is this That's grandmother? That's grandmother. Grandmother? Grandmother and granddaughter. She almost always comes first. Yeah, now the granddaughter. So you want it all in this feeder? Or so half, half on, on that this side, side and half, on the, half side? on the other side. And she, the grandmother gets it on the side you're on. Oh, well, here you They're, go. You, they start spitting each other and fight over it. 
if it's not just now you have to scoot the grandmother back a little bit get between yeah yeah here you go she's like but that looks better <laughs> <laughs> you know, it came from the same Hi, mama. Okay. oh yeah you got to be careful or you'll move her away from her food spot just don't let her eat. they'll start spitting if you yeah there perfect and probably that's about the right distance, Chris. Okay. But now push her back. <laughs> Maybe I haven't you been guys. good. I feed them and go on. I'll, I can do it if you'd like. I don't know why she's being so. She knows. It's like, that's better. I know it's better. <laughs> she got How the old is she? She is about 15 Ma years old. And she's about. Eight or ten. Okay. Then yeah. do they live like twenty, thirty? Uh, they can live that long, but and they can sometimes they die at fifteen, and hmm. then sometimes they die at twenty-five. It all depends. Yeah. And the reason she's so ratty is she's more of a Texas llama because she wasn't bred for wool. Mm -hmm. And then her dad was a wool type llama. Mm -hmm. But because she goes back to her, that's you know, the wool type. They have it all up their neck and everything. Not suitable for Texas. Yeah, yeah. It's just really uncomfortable for them. Oh, I saw your horses this morning. I thought they looked pretty good. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I just remember how absolutely incredible Zaba used to be. Yeah. She looks like an old horse, but she looks happy. Well, I think she is happy, yeah. And another thing, her feet are in really good shape. Oh, okay. I, I didn't see her feet. I don't know if you noticed that. You know how, like, there weren't splits, nothing to indicate bad nutrition. Good. Good. But I do feed her really expensive, old age equestrian yeah. grain. Yeah. For that very purpose, to keep her in as best shape as I can. I've told them a little bit about, or the people that are watching, I've told them about Anatolian some. Oh, good. But not nearly as much as you could tell them. <laughs> if you want to tell them about the breed, that'd be cool. Well, they're an incredibly wonderful dog. Uh-huh. Uh, did you tell them that in Tur they're from Turkey? Yeah, they're from Turkey, and uh, they were bred there for thousands of years as a strictly utilitarian guardian with no emotion on what they kept except... Do you do your job? Mm -hmm. You live. Do you not do your job? We can't afford to feed you. We have children mm -hmm. that can eat that food. So uh, for thousands of years, they were selected for protection. And in Turkey, up until the early 1900s, there were um, mountain, not mountain lions, lions that came mm -hmm. from Africa, but they changed shape because of the environment, mm -hmm. and they're more... Like almost like a cross between a mountain lion and a lion because uh -huh. they're more lithe and quicker and they're really fast. Yeah. And they had to protect against those. It's lions. Yeah. That's they, crazy. Yeah, they came up from Africa. And then the other thing is uh, wolf packs, of course. And um, any dog that would stand and bluff and scare the predators off. That dog had the greatest chance of living. Mm -hmm. But any dog that bluffed and it didn't work and it had to fight, so it turned and ran, the shepherd killed those dogs that day because mm -hmm. I can't afford to feed a dog that can't protect the animals. Mm -hmm. But if it fought and survived, then they really valued it because it, it would not stop protecting the animals. Mm -hmm. And so it's that kind of harsh selection process that created the wonderful dog today. And so if anybody's actually breeding Anatolians, they always need to test their animals with sheep and or goats in a predator rich environment. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> see how vicious she She's is. She's an exceptionally sweet <laughs> yeah. Anatolian. And her grandfather was a proven working Anatolian who helped kill a mountain lion on my property when he was seven months old wow. with a four-year-old female and three of her year and a half old puppies. Who was the one that killed the baboons? Okay, um, her 
grandfather's uncle okay. killed the baboons, <laughs> which is why I bought him. Uh -huh. But then it turned out he was like so incredibly good. He was the uh, number one Anatolian in the nation for three years in a row. The one who at seven months helped kill a mountain lion. Yeah. Uh, at, so he was the number one show Anatolian for three years in a row, and he won Best of Breed at Westminster and all kinds of other amazing awards. Wow. But I'm not into the showing, right. even though I had top show dogs. Then we stopped showing him to show his son, her aunt, mm -hmm. and um, he was the number one Anatolian in the nation for the next four years in a row. And uh, so despite the fact I use them for working and they have to prove they're amazing working dogs, mm -hmm. they also have really excellent confirmation. And when you're selecting for working ability, you want excellent confirmation because that's how they last longer in the pasture. Mm -hmm. And when they're fighting predators, they don't have a physical weakness yeah. that causes them to mess up and then get killed. So, Can you tell them the baboon story? So there was this dog, an entire litter of puppies was shipped to Africa to help with the cheetah conservation program. Uh -huh. And uh, how that was going to help is the farmers were killing the cheetahs that were killing their goats. Uh -huh. If they had dogs that kept their goats safe, the farmers didn't care. The cheetahs could live. Yeah. And that's what the Anatolians did. They chased the cheetahs off. The goats didn't get killed. And so that's what their use was. Mm -hmm. But this dog, Flint, he was in that litter where they were sent over there. And his name was Flintus. And he uh, uh, was about... 14 or 16 months, I can't remember. Uh -huh. But uh, he was a young dog, and a troop of about 35 baboons came. 35, oh yeah. my gosh. And of course, in Africa, traditionally they say, if any dog tries to interfere with the baboon troop's aggression, that dog is dead that day. Sure. Because yeah. they don't put up with it, and they have vicious fangs and all that. Yeah. Well, anyway, they were trying to catch little young goats, because to eat them they were gonna eat them mm -hmm. and he wasn't having any of that mm -hmm. and so a fight ensued uh, he chased them he wound up chasing the whole troop into the jungle about a mile or two away mm -hmm. uh, the farmer followed and saw the signs of a vicious fight everywhere blood and hair and all that stuff and then he came across two dead baboons, the two troop leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, the dog actually got both of them. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and, but they found the dog and he was still alive. Yeah. So they did go give him medical attention and he survived. Wow, So that's he crazy. was considered the most famous and it's, well, dog in mm -hmm. all of Africa because he actually survived the baboon troop. Yeah. So when I Not read this one guys. Her, her her grandfather's uncle. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Her grandfather's uncle. But when I read about that kind of ability, yeah. I said that's exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. So I found his nephew. Mm -hmm. They just had a litter and uh so I went ahead and uh, Oh, and uh, his grandmother, the mother of Flintus, mm -hmm. was 17 when I went to pick him up. Wow. She didn't make it to 18, but she was alive at for 17. For a big dog, that's for, Yeah, incredible. for a big dog, that's phenomenal. So anyway. So it's uh, in her genetics. It's in her genetics, and that's the only way you get a good livestock guardian dog. Genetics. Genetics. It has to be genetics. Mm -hmm. All of the things they do, they have to do it not because you've trained them anyway, yeah. but because the genetics. You use the environment to mold the genetics yeah. the way you need it to be, but mm -hmm. they have to have the genetics. So that's why it is dangerous for breeders to stop selecting for working ability. And how long have you been breeding Anatolians? 40 years. 40 years? Well, next year. Wow. 40. I didn't yeah. know that actually. I yeah. guess I had figured somewhere around there, yeah. but I never asked you that question. Yeah. Well, that's owning and breeding. I bought sure. my first one 39 plus years ago. So. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And after that first dog, it's like I go, oh my gosh, this is the perfect dog. Yeah. 
How many do you have here right now? I think I only have 13. 13. <laughs> but I used to have only 30. Only 13. I had, when I was in my heyday and younger, I had 30. Uh-huh. But I still only bred one litter a year. Mm -hmm. But to be a really good breeder, you have to have a large pool genetically to select from to pick the ones with the most number of excellent traits, physically, temperamentally, what are you doing? everything. <laughs> What are you doing? And so that's, They're and besides, I, something's wrong with me. <laughs> I got <laughs> carried away. <laughs> and then you have puppies coming here in April. Yes. So how I, many, oh, you don't know. I, they just x-rayed her. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, she's going to have, we're going to do a cesarean on her because she's almost seven, which is kind of a little too old for a first litter, mm -hmm. but I don't want anything to happen to her. Yeah. Poor puppy. So we're going to do a cesarean mm -hmm. on April the 3rd, and mm -hmm. then they're bringing the puppies on the 25th. And do they know how many puppies? Uh, they, the x-ray showed eight for sure, and maybe a ninth. And one. they're all going to come here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Eric. Oh gosh, I've had <laughs> litters of 14 Oh puppies. my gosh. No, I can't imagine I, having one puppy. Hello. Yeah. Numerous. Yes. Well, the way I raise them, it works out really well. Because I let the Risky animals business, be with them. Right. And so they're completely occupied and they're learning the behaviors they need to have. Yeah. So, anyway. And they're really cute. And I, they, I actually love raising puppies. Again, well, that's how I wound puppies. up with 30 of them. Yeah. I loved them and then I couldn't sell them. I wanted to keep them all. <laughs> And right now, I have 13 people that have committed the in the list. last three weeks That's great. that they definitely want a puppy. That's and I great. said, well, I'm not going to take a deposit because I don't know for sure how many I have, but she's real big. So now I've got to figure out who isn't going to get one. And these are not like pet dogs either, guys. They, they're livestock dogs. They live outside. Yeah. You really, thank you. <laughs> Your llamas have never spit at me. Well, they only would spit at each other and you'd get caught in the crossfire over <laughs> food. That's how they discuss whether, you know, yeah. that's my food. No, that's uh -huh. my food. And she always wins because she's older. Yes, yeah, she has no boundaries. Is it yummy? Eating? Uh, you know, I can feed them a whole bunch of food. Yeah. And then put, and they'll be full, no one anymore. And then they come over here and they go, oh, good <laughs> treats. So, hello, baby. Hello. Um, do you want hello. me to feed her? Yeah, that would be okay. great. A half a can. Okay. And I put a little bit of water in it. Where's her? Uh, it's inside, inside on the bucket. Oh, hi, babies. Did you guys migrate? Was there a migration? Uh. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? And then, no. <laughs> uh, only two more things in here are the ducks. Okay. And what I do is I take a half a, a half a can of dog food and a half a can of duck food, and I mix them up, and then I give a half to one group of them and a half to the other group of them. Okay. And then I redo the water. Uh-oh. <laughs> Camera hog. <laughs> Walked in. Okay. This shed is such a good unexpected shelter for it the babies. Really is. <laughs> they love it under there. Yeah. And actually, so do the dogs. It's like, yeah. I go, wow, I had no idea when I put it here it'd be so popular. Jamook! <laughs> and then I usually put it in the shade. Here you go. Just somewhere in the shade. And I, I sit by her. I give her company. She'll sit with you. Especially now. Oh, and another thing I do, I like it to be uniformly <laughs> wet. <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> so I stir it up. Well, sometimes they choke on it if it's a little dry. Yeah. So. Hello. And she'll eat it dry, but I don't like to see her choke. Go. Here's one. I think of me eating crackers. Yeah, <laughs> it is like that. Yeah, I go. Oh, that's not good. She's really pretty. I want pretty, to pet you, but you won't. Oh, so you're it's letting easy me pet to remember you. the that's younger nice. one is the fancier one with mm -hmm. the white all the way down her throat. Mm. 
You have no boundaries. <laughs> yeah, and no Personal boundaries. space. Yeah. Itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so one year, see all these seeds? These are clover seeds. Uh-huh. She's a seed disperser. It was <laughs> raining a lot every day for several weeks. Mm-hmm. And they all sprouted on the I know you told me that. It's so funny. <laughs> it is so bizarre. To, like chia pet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and then you just said for the ducks and geese, a yeah. can, half ha dog a half, food. A half of a can of dog food and a half can of duck food, and then I mix it up and then I give half of half that mixture to, that to each to pen and do right. their waters. And do they have bowls for that or is it scattered? I have uh, two bowl. Well, no, I now only have one bowl in there, mm -hmm. and then uh, I use uh, a lid that's upside down, a okay. shallow lid, and then a bowl over uh, close to where that duck nest is on the other side. Okay. If you need me to tell you later, I'll tell you. Hello. Hello. Hello, girl. Good girl. Half Good a can girl. of dog here. food. That baby here is so cute. This is the one he was talking oh, about. It's got here. dark spots, there but go. uh, he might. Good girl. Okay. Those spots might turn white when he's an adult. Hello. 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 Or she? No, he. It's a boy. Sorry. <laughs> Mixing. Oh. Mixing. Chibouk, did you finish that? You already? want this, Chibouk? No way. Chibouk, you still have a savings time. Hey, girl. You have this. You can have Would you this. like some Look. dog food? Here you go. Did you want the shade? Is that the one? That's okay, no. Okay. I thought that was the one from this morning. And I was like, what the heck? How did that... How did it get so healthy so fast? That one's still in the little pen, I guess. Don't say that. Hey, little... That good? This one's for your winning. Oh, Happy second getting full. birthday. Thank you very much. Are you getting full? Are you getting full? He doesn't have anything to say to you. Uh, these are Nubians. Oh, these goats are Nubians. Um, so good. You can hang out with the baby so goats. I'll be right back. Good. Yes, you are. So good. I'm going to feed okay. the ducks. Here you go. Hello, crow. Or you can go hang out with Eric. Hi, ducks. Actually, oh. you can come over here if you want. Space has chat if you want to tell him he can come over here. Hi. Oh. For you. I'll go get him. You can come with me if you want. To the ducks. Where they, was their drama? Baby Is goat drama? It? Okay, I'm gonna put it up. You don't want any more. No problem. Hi, ducks. No problem, baby. These are the ducks that I threw a pool party for that they were not grateful for. They hated it. Oh, I'm... Oh, I gotta go in the other way. Oh, babies. I thought there was a gate here. Hello. I was wrong. Hello, babies. It's not... Huh? Isn't it stuck on there? Oh. Wait, is that it? I feel like it's stuck. Yeah, I think it's wired in. Release the quacking. No. No! I, f 
figure out where all your gates are. Do you know where the nail is to shut this? Yeah. I put it on the oh. shelf in here, I think. I, I always it's just put hidden. it back in here. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> well, I have a, a problem with vision. And if uh -huh. you're more oh. thing, I can't find it. That makes sense. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna go in this way. <sighs> Duck chat. That's actually, I wasn't even trying to be funny. So how would you feel if I go in? What's that? How would you feel if I go in? Oh, great. That's fine. Do you need this back? Yeah, I'll take that back. Um, do you want me to... Continue? Yeah, put your bowers out Yeah. And, in the pasture. Oh and, oh, and bring the Nubians back in and feed them here. Okay. And uh, was Dan coming out to finish? I saw course? him, yeah. Oh. But I don't know if he's doing anything oh. or... Oh, there he is, yeah. Well, I need to find out because then I still have these other chores. Right. Do you want me to I check? can I can do them. Dan doesn't need to do them. Um, I just need to know what the amounts are because okay. I don't remember. So I will tell you each section okay. at a time and then you do them. Does that work? Yeah. For you? If you want to just tell me right now, I'll write it down. Oh, okay. So in the two pin area, okay. I just take one and a fourth cans of goat food in the bottom of a bucket. That's going to go to the goats, the four the, males. The bucks? Yes. Okay. And there's a black bucket I dump it in. Okay. And then I also take a half a can, maybe slightly over, of dog food for a baton in case. Uh -huh. And then I take a full can, half of which goes to Cutla. Okay. And the other half is divided between Ash and... In the buckyard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that does that area. How much to Cutla and how much to Ash and... So I do a full can, uh -huh. Cutla gets half, Okay. and the older dogs get a fourth each. Okay. And and you may have to watch. Ash isn't doing very good about eating. Okay. Yeah, she may not. And then whatever she winds up not. I, I do try to get her to eat a little bit more. Okay. And I'll sit there and put it in her mouth you know, and stuff. Sure. But then if she, I see she's going to eat it, I just give it to Cutler or whoever acts like. But he is a little bit fat. <laughs> he is a little chunky. <laughs> so I try to okay. give it to Cutler. But anyway. And Incoming then, duck. Um, you want to just come out here? Area, I give uh, one can in those buckets right there. The uh, can buckets by close to the RV. Okay. Of dog food? Uh, one can of goat food. Goat food. And I actually just put it in two cans. Okay. And then I sling out just a small amount of dog food and uh, bird food. Okay. The, I have five geese, geese there, so whatever you think they're One can? Want. No, 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 that'd be like way too much, just like... <laughs> just a little bit? Yeah, like a fourth of a can. Uh, of, uh, not each, just a fourth of a can of dog food in. So, and then, uh, and I give um, one and a half cans of dog food to the dogs in there. To the dogs? In the yard like, area. Like, Koss and Tavir? Yeah. And... Uh, and I kind of have to guard it because the baby goats will try to come up and the geese will come up. Okay. So that could be a time to sit down and relax. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I do anyway. And then, uh, and then uh, you put the cot up, right? I did. Did you see where at the bottom? Yeah, I clipped it. Yeah, because I think that's how she got out. Mm -hmm. She's done that once before. So yeah. She hates being put up. What I do is when I'm going to go do that, the rock wall area I let her out and put her in there and okay. then I take two cans of dog food uh -huh. and one can of goat food okay and I give the well in this case you better make it two because I've split the goats up so one can mm -hmm. for in with the dogs and one can of the mothers on goat food so that'll be two cans yep and then the dogs get two cans and I put a fourth in each of their bowls up by the water tank that I used to feed there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, and and uh, and then the moment they get through eating, or you might let Dakot, but do not take your eyes off of her. Off Dakot. So you want me to put Dakot in to feed that, all of those dogs? Yes, and she'll know that she goes there. They eat. They're okay. Just eating together. 
But then you can't trust her because she can get out of any pasture I have. Okay. It doesn't matter how big the fence is. Okay. Are. And so you've got to put her back up. Will she eat in there? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. But the reason I don't is it encourages her to poop. Okay. And I want her to, you know, I let her out again in the evening and mm -hmm. I put her back in there okay. briefly. But uh, this gives it, she usually, I let her in there in the morning and she goes right then. But since she got out, she probably. Yeah. You know. And then, uh, oh, and those geese in there give a full can of uh, goose food scattered across the whole pen because I have babies in there. Mm -hmm. And then, and then give about a third of a can of dog food sc scattered across that whole pen. And I, I, there's a little bowl they knock over that I have rocks in. Mm -hmm. They still knock it over. I fill that up with water and then up with all that jumble of places to nest. Mm -hmm. You'll see another silver bowl under some branches. Mm -hmm. I, I fill that up. So with water? That babies, yeah, okay. so that way the babies have continuous water because that's too high for them to get into. Okay. So have you uh, photographed the babies? No. You should. They're, they're so very cute. Because they're, they're cute. only like about a week or 10 days old. Yeah. So they're just adorable. They're still all fuzzy. Cute. Yeah. Um, okay, so you don't want any of the bowers moved? Correct. Just stay in the pastures. Yeah, unless if you see one you think is thinking about having a baby. Yeah. But at some point, I can't keep putting them having a baby in with the ones where there I are babies because then they'll make that little, where are you my baby? And sure. all of them will run and say, more milk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'll have, but right now I think it'll be okay because I, uh, Surratt is young. She mm -hmm. was with them having babies. Mm -hmm. But she was keeping the mother back oh. from the baby. Like, you're going to hurt the baby. I can't let that happen. Okay. So, okay. So I have to work with her. Yeah. And then what else? And then bring these does back in yes. before we yeah, leave yeah, and yeah. feed before them? Before you leave, just bring Well, it has, it's a simple deal. Go dump some grain in there mm -hmm. and then walk up to the gate and they'll come running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All <laughs> right. So. Okay, I think that's everybody. Okay. Great. Well, I'll text you if anything goes wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll call you if anything goes really I wrong. I should be there, but yeah. No, I probably shouldn't have even come out. I know. Yeah, go get some rest. It is so hard not to. Oh. I'm going back in here. Oh, okay. I love my animals. So I know. I don't want to go to bed. I know, <laughs> I know. Okay. okay. Well. Bye, you guys. Bye. Have fun. I have it, yeah. You guys get all that? <laughs> all right, here guys. For you. They're scared of me. They're scared. For you? For you. We need to do duck waters. Chat. I'm gonna make it clear one time. I realize this looks, this doesn't look like Alveus. These are not my animals. It's a different facility. Eric is a very, very nice old man who loves these animals very much. I don't want to hear it if you have any opinions right now. Okay? He's, he's doing his best to take care of everybody. We're just here to help. But I know if you're used to seeing Alveus, not to pat myself on the back, but. Everything else looks different. I get it. All right. Um, we need to do the geese water and then do uh, <laughs> a lot of other stuff. Excuse me. This is a boy. Name a hundred women. He's not even trying.
He didn't even try. In March. Okay. In here. There's a couple waters. And we're gonna dump them. You know, the nice thing about ducks is they like when there's mud everywhere. <laughs> Not a lot of animals like that. They do this every day. When I was taking care of all of Eric's animals for a while when he had his back problems, I would clean these waters every day. And they do this to them every day. It's honestly incredible if you ask me. These are Indian runner ducks. They don't have names. They did used to have arms though. And then they lost them, so now they just walk like that. I'm joking. I should split this up a little. Oh, I did split it up. Never mind, you guys are good. Hi. Happy ducks, new water. Can they fly? I don't really, I don't think so, really. I believed her. I know, that's why I clarified, because I felt bad, because I usually teach you guys stuff. You guys want water? Sorry. Here you go. Clean water. You can come over here if you want. Okay, well now you're moving too slow and I have to go turn it off and it's gonna freak you out. Okay, I have to move. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you guys want water like this? Sometimes they like a mist, but it's not a very sunny day, so. They're not vibing with it. Okay, now we have to go in here and do their water, and then we're done with ducks. But why are they long? Because they're runner ducks. You can watch the ducks over the fence because they like the water. It's cute. See, they only, they want the mud water only. Look at that. Yuck, guys. Oh, heads up. These are not Alveus ducks. This is not my property. These are not my animals. This is my neighbor. This is a working farm. You guys understand what I was saying about this place? Okay. 
Yeah, maybe we pin a comment that says Maya's helping at her neighbor's farm today or something. Yeah, this is not a sanctuary. It's a very different operation. But Eric really does do his best. They love mud water, delicious. Are they all females? No, I think those are boys and girls. No, you know what's funny? Okay, okay, so I say this is a working farm. The interesting thing about these ducks, because someone's like, do they sell, does he sell their eggs or what? Uh, no, he doesn't sell their eggs and they're not meat ducks. The reason he has the ducks and the geese and the goats and everything um, is actually to train his dogs. So you guys heard him say that he's gonna have puppies come here. The livestock dogs have to grow up with as many types of animals as possible um, so that they get comfortable with them and they know not to like chase them and they're exposed to them and they know how to protect them. So he has like, they're all kind of like props <laughs> for his dogs, for his dog training. Does that make sense? That's why he's got so many different types of animals, but they're not like production, like they're not, these dogs aren't producing anything. They're just so the dogs can be around them. They're paid actors. All right, you ready? All right. Yeah, he does sell the dogs. Not the dogs that you've seen today. Uh, he's selling like the puppies that are coming here, but the dogs that live here, he, they're his dogs, like the 13, his dogs. Man. You guys are knocked out. Isn't it time that you guys like get a job or something? Don't you think you should start being a productive member of society? What about you? Kids these days just don't wanna work. Get it? Kids. You are like Papa. <laughs> <clears throat> Dope pretzel. There are more kids over here. You guys want to see them? These ones also, clearly not productive members of society. What do you have to say for yourself? Why are you sitting down? Goats don't sit. Oh. Oh, Luke. Chibuk, have you named these? Beep. Would you like to say hi to chat? Chibook! Can you say hello? Chat, they don't care. They don't care about you. Okay, well, that was easy. Now all we have to do is one and a fourth can of goat food to the buckyard, one half can of dog food for the dog yard, full can of dog food to the buckyard, half for one dog and the fourth to each of the old dogs, one can of goat food to the house goats, one fourth can of duck slash dog, dog food to the geese and the baby geese, one and a half cans of dog food to Cass and Tavir in the house yard, two cans of dog food and two cans of goat food to the house yard, uh, one one can of scattered goose food and one third can of dog food for the geese and bring the mom goats back in this pasture and feed them. What time is it? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's begin. 
Can you repeat that? No. Chat, Koss is going to bark at you, and it's because she doesn't like you. So be cool. You're going to make it worse. It's okay, Koss. You know who would like you? Tavir. Tavir. Can you come here? Can you come say hi? Incoming. Wiggly gal. <laughs> this is Tavir. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Are you having a good day? I love this dog. I love this dog. Oh, yeah, he's up here. She's nice. She's nice. Hello, goats. All right, let's start with the buck yard. Um, all the male goats that still have testicles is what that means. This is Golie. She doesn't care about you. Or me. <laughs> All right, we need one and a fourth can of goat food and a full can of dog food. I need to carry three cans. That seems challenging, but we'll make it work. Why is that goat screaming? One full can of dog food. And one and a fourth cans of goat food. Not for y'all. to back up too close to his trailer so she doesn't launch out at you. I don't think that she would, but I don't know. Okay. One can of goat food. And the fourth can of goat. No. No. Not for you. What do you guys get? Should I just feed you now? No. Because I have to feed you when I feed these dogs, otherwise you will eat the dog's food, right? Am I right? I'm right. <sighs> I know them. Is this Tripper's family? Actually, this one, this one, and that one. Those are Tripper and Pee Wee's half, half siblings. They got the same dog. Excuse me, no, this is not, I repeat, not for you. Not for y'all either. Goats, I told you in plain English. Please, not for goats. Well, not for you guys, it's for other goats. No, you can't come in here. No! Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Here, you guys really hungry? Oh my God, your food for you.
You know who you guys are gonna love? Cutla. Cutla is the youngest. This is Case and this is Baton. They got the same flies. If you just saw that, they have the same fly stuff going on as Serrano on his legs. Um, Cutla is the youngest dog here and <laughs> she is very much a puppy. She's right here. Hi, Cutla. Hi, miss. Oh, how are you? Hi. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Stay. She wants to see it. Okay. Oh, Cutla, get off. Cutla. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> okay, goats. Whoa, that's a pretty goat. Who the hell is that? Ah, Kala. I'm not, ma'am. Hi. Okay, goats, come here. So these are all the dads of all the babies that you've seen today. Goats over here too. Okay. I just poured dog food in the gut. Okay. Cut no no cut no. that's goat food. Look. Look, look. Don't fight, eat that. Alright. Now I can introduce you to doggies. This is Cutla. She's a puppy. She's a puppy, she's a nice puppy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, Bahia. He's she's the one Eric was saying is a little fat, and this is Ash. Ash is like old, old. I think like between twelve and fourteen or something. Hi, Miss. How are you? It's been a minute. Hi. Hello. Good doggy. Cutler's eating goat food. I found two bowls and I need three. Uh, I guess. Where's your other bowl? Where is it? I don't know how to do this. I might just be fed at different times. All right. A fourth of a can? Okay, well, she gets half a can. And then Ash and Bahia each get a fourth of a can. So this is for you, Cutla. That's for you, Bahia. This is for you. That's for you. You need to focus. Focus, or they won't let you eat this. Focus. No. No. Focus. For you. Ma'am. For you. Ah, <laughs> come here. Focus. For you. Good girl. Okay, so... We're gonna let Bahia and Cutla eat first, and then I'm gonna take Bahia's bowl, and then we're gonna feed Ash. He said that Ash has not been very keen on eating lately. Can I help you? I don't remember if that is Pee Wee's father or the other all tan one that's fighting. I think it's the all tan one is Pee Wee's dad. Focus. 
Kyla. And Tripper's father then, because they're half siblings. The tan one does have crazy horns. Lord, I separated it so it didn't happen. Man, am I right? A bit rowdy. They're a bit rowdy. I would give you Cutla eating ASMR, but I think if I showed her the microphone, we'd lose her entirely. So. Does he still have Pee Wee's sister? Yeah, hey, 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 you don't need to go over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show you Pee Wee's sister later. I think, I think he still has it. Bahia? Yes, that's nice, you can sit. No, Cutla, go back and keep eating. Cutla? Good job. <laughs> drama. Boy drama. Should have brought a brush. Sorry. He's so much hair. What was that noise? It's the boy goats. Boy goats make weird noises. I am gonna go back um, after I do all this today and do show and tell, by the way. So don't, do not fret if you're waiting for show and tell today on the Alvaez channel. What's this? You got a foxtail, miss ma'am. Yes, this was in, oh, it flew away. I got it. I got it, don't worry. I got it, she did she. Anatolian. Anatolian Shepherds. Turkish livestock dog. <sighs> My neighbor has been breeding them for 40 years. This is Bahia. She's older. I don't know how old. I want to say she's over 10, but I don't remember. You'd have to ask Eric. And this is Cutla. She's under a year. She's a puppy. Just a little puppy. These are the dogs I brushed out last year, except Cutla wasn't alive then. That's huge for a puppy. Ah, she's not full grown though, she's still growing. Leave that poor dog alone. This one? What are you doing? Are you done? This dog looks miserable. Are you miserable? Psst. 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 <laughs> she's like, what's she doing? Oh, she's miserable. Oh my God. She's dying. She's not gonna make it. She's not gonna make it. Dude, the hair just like wafting up into the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not really a house pet. Did you finish? Is that what you're telling me? 
Okay, yeah, it smells like it. Thank you. You gonna eat this bit? Cutla, are you done? All right, let's get Ash to eat. Eric said this is gonna be a task, so. It's not for you, you just had half a can. You're welcome to play with that. You stay here. Stay. She don't, she don't know how to stay. Ma'am. It's okay. Miss Ash. Miss old lady. This is for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said get away. Carla, you gotta go. Yes. Yay, Ash. Old gal. <sighs> yes, he's Aiden. How old is she? I think between 12 and 14. I can't remember exactly. Miss, can I help you? Katla? She's in retirement. You guys want to see her turn into a machine gun? She got me. She got me. Get on the ground. Put your hands up. You're under arrest. I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. You're not under arrest. You've never committed a crime. Good thing Eric doesn't watch these streams. Oh, Cutla, come here. Cutla, come. Cutla. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Hey, come. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good thing Eric doesn't watch these streams. <laughs> He's talking to his guard dogs like that. You have a burr in here. I'm getting it out. No, I don't think he would care at all. I'm joking. Ash, can you keep eating? Ash? Stay here, she's gonna get you. You stay there. Halt. Hey, Dan! <laughs> There you go. She's gonna get you if you get close to her. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't chase the goats. Cutla. Yeah, you're gonna get in trouble for that. She said, Don't chase the goats. Pretty impressive. <laughs> she said, okay, 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 sorry. That's why the puppies have to be raised around a bunch of animals and around other dogs. Did you get caught? Cause you got too excited, you chased the dogs. You're not supposed to chase the dogs. 
you got caught. Now get on the ground. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> Kicked me. Ash, can you eat? Can you keep eating, please? Tala, don't come over here. Hi. Hello. How's it going? All right. I went ahead and uh, got the, took care of the horses. Oh, thank you. Okay. I forgot about them. Um, so I'll just do these two, and the geese, and the rock wall, yeah. and the boars, and that's it. Yeah. Easy. I'm heading out. Okay. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thanks. Good to see you. Did she get caught again for doing something? That's my other neighbor. He's awesome. Ash? Can I sit with you and you can eat more? Here you go. Cutla, don't come over here. Cutla? Do you want food, Ash? Here. Food. Yum. Oh, it's not Cutla. Bahia, can you go away, please? What? The hell? Is he okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's fine. He didn't even get hurt. He's just, they're just fighting. Here you go, miss. Here you go. Are you done? You should eat more. Eric said you should eat more. Good girl. Good job. Yum. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm the tip. P -p 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 pass. Thank you very much. Cutla, you're in trouble. I see. <laughs> Look at her face. Uh oh. Oh. She said, I'm not looking at either of you. Go around, ma'am. Bye. Bye, she's not doing anything. Escape. <laughs> she escaped. You did it. You escaped. Good job, miss. Good job. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you okay? It's okay. Saved. Good girl. Cutlow was in with Chabuk before, um, but Chabuk was really a lot about correcting her, even more so than these gals. And Chabuk is younger and faster and, you know, just a lot more. So um, that's why Eric moved her in here. Huh? So you could be with the grandmas, but they still tell you what to do. Thanks. It's really nice. It's really nice. Man, that goat is beautiful. Look at how crazy that, that goat is. The fun thing about Eric's Nubians, you guys saw like in the first pasture we were in, he has so many colors. Um, and that's because Eric has these goats like to teach his dogs, you know, and it's not like a serious operation. So he breeds for color because with the goats, it's fine. It's not like, I know I've talked about breeding for color in snakes and that can be a problem and they get 
spider morphs and head wobbles and whatever, but um, with the goats they do fine with like this tricolor and spots and stuff. Um, so he selects some of his goats for color because it's fun and they're healthy. Don't get me wrong though, that can go too far. Remember, don't try to milk the male goats. Those aren't udders. You are correct. Those are testicles. Ash, are you done, miss? Sorry. Are you done? What do you think? You done? You want more? I think she's done. Oh, she's not done. She's Eden. She did eat something. She maybe got like an eighth of a cane. Oh, she just ate a fly. That's protein, that's fine. She's just taking her time. Hello, are you Pee Wee's father? I think that's Pee Wee's father. Say hello to Mr. Pee Wee. Mr. McNugget, if you will, the first. Yeah, his horns are pretty nuts. He's had that buck a few years. Do you want this? I'm gonna give it to Cutla if you're done. Ash. Okay. Cutla, are you eating the goat food? Okay. Can I give it to Cutla, please? I don't think you need it. I can give you half. Bye. Finish it, please. Yum. Bit rate. That's weird. Hmm. It's the first time I've seen them complain about it today. Oh. Is it a cable problem? Just a random. Yeesh. Whoa. Almost like. Yeah, it's going down still. Oh, you still hear me? Excellent. All right. Okay. Guys, one pasture down. Wahoo. Welcome to the podcast where I describe what I'm seeing. Do you want to wait here? Okay. So weird. Do whatever. Bye, Cutla. Good girl. Hi. 
you resetting? Sorry guys. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, I hear you. Ma'am, you guys need cans of dog food. And then one can of goat food. dogs we got in here. One and a half cans of dog food. Two goat food. Let me feed the goats first, okay? Come here, goats. Space, are you, they're back.
Oh, thank you. Look out. I know, you're excited, huh? Here we go. One dog. Another dog. Go, Klaus. Let's not have dog fights. Here, Klaus. You go there. I will water your food down. Sorry, guys. Space was uh, turning on the hot spot. Huh? Good. But we're good now. Okay, so now I'm feeding this goat mosh pit and three dogs. I'm getting water to water down the dog food because Eric doesn't like when they eat the dry crackers. You can stay there. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Dote dote dote. So these are the, these are yearlings, I believe. So not bred yet. We'll be bred next spring or next year. Here you go, Tavir. You go put a little water. Go yay. Just a little water. Cost, you're not going to like this. I'm just going to put a little water in your food. Thank you. There you go. Excuse me. You stay there. Continue. Everybody continue on their business. We have to make sure the dogs eat before the goats stop eating, otherwise the goats will go and eat the dog food. So yeah, these are these are yearlings that he kept last year. And this is this one is uh, Pee Wee and Tripper's half sibling, half sister. These are all girls. Pee Wee and Tripper's half sister. Pee Wee and Tripper's half sister. And then these ones are Nubians. No way. I don't believe you. No, come here, ma'am. Sit here. Everybody's eating in peace so far, so good. No, keep eating. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. They're running out of food. I'm gonna get them more food because I think they're gonna run out. Stay focused, guys. Stay locked in. Hey, come here, Tavir. Tavir. Okay. Peeing is fine. Tavir. Tavir. Okay. Sorry, Tavir might be done. Someone said, why don't they like eating? Um, I don't know why, but the Anatolians are just like, they just don't eat that much, which is weird because they're so big and they're so active, but they're just like not food motivated. Like, a, I don't know, like a pet dog is. They just don't care. Hey, ma'am, did you finish your food? Did you finish? We did good. Good. Oh my God. Let's see what tricks Tavir knows. Tavir, sit. <laughs> the joke is they don't they don't know any. <laughs> <laughs> Ignored because he speaks Turkish? Oh, you're right. Anybody know sit in Turkish? Go 
Oh yay. Go oh, yay. Anybody want to guess how Golier is spelled? Give it a go. Why do you all know how to say sit in Turkish? Severe. Severe. They don't care. Goal, yay. Got yay. Go yay. Goal, yay. Google. G O L G E. <laughs> Goal yay. Okay. Um, that's this pen. Now we need to do. Oh, you know who didn't feed? There's the geese in here. Where'd they go? Chat, where are the geese at? No, the ones in here. The geese. They were in here earlier. Remember they were falling? Maybe Dan let them out. Yeah, maybe they're out there. Okay, um, let's do the big geese then. Uh, one fourth can of dog and duck food scattered for the geese. You know the dog that keeps barking? Um, her name's Koss. Not for you. Uh, the puppies that Eric's getting, they're her brothers and sisters. So they're gonna be more like her and less like uh, Chibouk and Cutla. Hey. Hi geese, you guys want to see some baby geese? Leave my mic in there when I feed them. And you guys can get ASMR. Yeah, you guys are real lovely. It's a beautiful day. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted you to get baby geese ASMR because it's cute, but it turned out being really cringe and loud.
gonna get up so that they can eat because they do not like me being here. <laughs> These are pilgrim geese, chat, if you were wondering. I'm not touching y'all's babies. You think I want a goose? You are dead wrong. Eric has offered me geese how many times? <laughs> like at least a dozen times. Pass. This is the baby geese water because they got a rock in it so they can get out. Hooray! This is for y'all. God, dude, these geese are so mean. I'm literally just feeding you and giving you water. Don't talk to me like that on Women's Month. These are uh, pilgrim geese. So the females are the brown ones and the males are the white ones. They are not messing around. They said no funny business. I said fine. Fine with me. They are really beautiful. When they're not hissing and being all nasty, they're like really beautiful birds, aren't they? They're very swan-like. Look at all the babies. Little goose baby pit. They're moshing softly and sweetly. <laughs> Little babies. Don't hiss at the babies. Oh, she's pissed off. Honk. All right, let's leave the geese be now that they've had enough of us. Hmm? Oh, where the hell, you guys, now I have to feed the goats again so I can feed y'all. The goats already got fed twice. Hissing me. Gosh, don't bark at me. I'm doing your father a favor. Okay, 
Goats? Here. Geese? Here. I'm so sorry. Good God. Oh yeah, come over to me while I'm feeding you. Hissing at me. Lord. Okay, you guys watch the geese. I'm gonna move the cot. And then we're gonna go see some more babies that you guys have not seen yet. Here, enjoy your... all the dog food and then left. Okay, we have another pasture to do with quite a few dogs and more baby goats. We got two cans of dog food, two cans of goat food. Yes, okay. Four cans. Hammer. One. Two. Three. Four. I can't believe they're looking at me like they're expecting me to feed them a fourth time. <sighs> Get away from me. Nobody trip me. Nobody trip me. Thank you. Two more pastures. Cos, Cos, hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. She just ran after you. No, keep your head on a swivel. All right, party people. Here we have dog food and goat food. I should have done it two at a time. Hmm. Because of you and nobody else. Nobody else is coming over here to ruin my day except for you. No, goat. No. No. Goats. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. There's goats. Now I need to feed the dogs. I got four dogs in here. 
and a bunch of boar goats. Peewee's potential relatives again, Tripper's potential relatives. Okay, everybody gets half a can of food in here. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna put the dog food in the bowls. Everybody's gonna chill while I do that. Not a single dog here is going to fight while we're eating. And I'm going to separate the bowls and you guys are all going to eat at the same pace and finish all the food. Surat, come here Surat. Come on, pup. Savan. Dakot, you can eat up there. Nadir, Nadir, come. This is my favorite dog here. This is Nadir. She don't like me though. <laughs> she don't like anybody. Good girl. Sounds like a plant. All right. One time when me and Space were helping Eric take care of the whole property, we were feeding dogs in here and Nadir and Dakot got in this massive fight and we could not split them up and they were just covered in blood and it was really traumatic, genuinely traumatic. So that's why they're eating so far apart. Dakot? Dakot, hey, hey, Dakot, come here. Come here, come here. Okay, Savon, come here. You switch bowls then. Come, one of you. Okay, you can have yours back. So these dogs, um, Savon, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you go back? Savon, here. Okay, go to that one. I feel like this is not that hard. Huh, <laughs> Sarat, eat there. Eat here. Here you go. For you. For you. Savon, go over there. Over here. Look. Too much water, maybe. So this dog over here to the right, that's Surat. She's a she's the second youngest on this property. Um, she was born last year sometime. Uh, this dog to the right, or closest to Surat is Savan. That's Surat's mom. And then this is Dakot, uh, and then that's Nadir. Nadir is sisters, I think full sisters, with Tavir, the really sweet dog by his house. So different to the other puppy. Yeah, um, Surat is like a year older than Cutla. How do you tell the difference? Oh, this might have just died. Do you have another one? Chat, sorry, hold on, you died. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> Serious. Oh. 
Where's the fourth dog? Oh, he's eating goat food. Okay. Sorry, stand by. I'm getting a new chat phone because mine died. Okay. Hello? Nothing. Hello? It's making me log in. It says log in to enable Twitch chat. Stand by, stand by, stand by. We got three of these bad boys. I brought them all just in case. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. All right, I see you. Hi. Uh, we're back. How do I tell them apart? Uh, they look super different. That's how. Look at Nadir's face. And then look at Surat's face. I will admit some of them look very similar to each other, but... Uh, They all look really different to me. Do the dogs know their names? I think they all do, yeah. You know what I haven't paid any attention to today is... How do I... Why is it like that? Auto rotate. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I know Dakot has a cut on her head. Eric knows too. It's new. Woo! Windy one. Um, what was I? Oh, subs. I haven't paid attention to subs at all today. I'm sorry. I had the alerts off when I was with Eric and I never turned them back on. Peach. Um, Jimfinite, Space Homelander, Danny, Madge Caboose, Not Christian, Zorro, Cliff Powers, Pickled Rick, Emperor, Grimjar, Mantarayo, Starfries, Yebo, Madison, Zote, Cat, King, Misaku, Uncle Red, Chaotic Duck, Mr. Bigglesworth, Barbecue Sauce. What the hell? Thank you guys for the subs today. I appreciate that. Who is that? Dakot? Yeah? Dakot, what are you doing? No, that's Surat. That's the puppy, that's why. She's summer swimming. You can go up there. I don't think she'll... What the hell? Sarah, what are you doing? Are you having a good time? Or are you... Okay. That's kind of gross. Are all dogs done with their food for real, for real? Because... I only, I think one dog finished. Can I help you? Oh, oh, Pee Wee's sister's not in here. Where's she at? Is she out there? She didn't have a baby, no. For you. Surat. Guys, for you, Nadir. Nadir? Here you go, do you want? 
I know, you don't fuck with me. Here you go. Here you go. For you. She don't care. Okay. Eric said, immediately after they finish eating, we need to put Dakot back because otherwise she will get out of the pasture. Where did she go? Because <laughs> I don't see her. Oh, look. Do you see her? Chat, it's time to play I Spy Dakot, Dakot Edition. We are looking for a dog. Anybody? Anyone see a dog by chance? Anybody? Spot? The cot? <laughs> she can stay in. I don't think she's gonna jump out. Like, <laughs> aware. Clueless. Surely. Oh, there she is. Hey, Miss Ma'am. Will you stay in here while we feed these goats, please? Thank you very much. You can't come in here. Sorry. Wait. I'm gonna put the dog food up. I don't wanna leave dog food in here with them. Nobody's fighting today. Hi, Nadir. Guys, you didn't eat anything. What's wrong with you? So much dog food. You don't want any of that? No. <laughs> you don't want any of this? No. You don't want any of this? No. All right, Dotes. You're not coming with me, ma'am. Er ah, my funny bone. Eric also said, if any of the goats in this pasture look like they're thinking about having a baby, that I should move them into this pasture. But I didn't, I forgot to look. Baby's in here, by the way. Little ones. Come here, more goats. Guys, hello? Over here. <laughs> See what? What's up? <laughs> What's wrong? Pick it up? Oh yeah, so she can freak out? She would hate that. That's nice of you. Imagine being a good mother. Hi. You look like Tripper. Do you like a seesaw? Yeah. You guys want to see other babies? There are more. Hello? Psst. Baby dotes. Hello. Can I come get you and show? Hi. 
Would you like to say hi to the people? Oh, oh sorry. Oh my god, you're really in there. Thank you. Look. Oh. Sorry. Cute little guy, huh? You're weirdly like gray for a boa goat. You're not really so small. You are so small. Beep, 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 beep. That one is still freaking out. Yes, guys, I am currently underneath an old bed liner because Eric is resourceful and smart. <laughs> that is their shelter and it works great. Oh. No thoughts in that head? Well, not yet, but he was literally born yesterday. He's still got an umbilical cord, asshole. Be nice to him. What do you want? Why do you keep screaming? Hello? What? Chat, there's a mystery to unsol to cover, uncover. Um. <laughs> They're not trapped. Is that yours? No? Hey, little. That's the twin of this other little brown one that won't stop screaming. You can tell because he's also screaming. The miracle of birth. Hi, little. Oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Can I see you? Oh, big stretch. Let's say hi. You want to say hi? What do you think? Were you taking a nap under there? Were you napping? Are you experiencing life for the first time? What do you think of planet Earth? Just wait till you hear about the economy. Just wait. You don't have to worry about the presidential election if you don't want to. not until you're 18 anyway are you sleepy is he falling asleep he was just sleeping what is with kids and refusing to work nowadays. Don't you feel like you should be more productive? Not just sleep all the time? Oh, that's not your mom, is it? Is this yours? Didn't think so. You want it anyway? Here you go. It ain't yours though. Wait, is it? Oh my god, it is hers. I'm so sorry for the misunderstanding, ma'am. That's a nice baby. Sorry. 
He's thirsty. Baby, go ASMR. How'd you assume her answer? I really thought this wasn't her baby because I thought I saw these two twins nursing off a different mom this morning. But I guess I got them mixed up. Why are they so aggressive with the tea? Do you ever milk the goat this size? It takes some force to get it out, man. They're doing what they gotta do. Maybe they share it. I don't think so. I think this is actually her mom. You look so much like Tripper. Has anyone ever told you that? Except Tripper doesn't have aspirations to get her GED. And she does. What? What's wrong with you? You're being, this goat has literally never met me before. It's actually crazy nice that she's letting me just sit here, hold her baby, and then sit here while her baby is nursing. That's like extremely nice goat behavior. You could be absolutely rocking my shit right now. So thank you very much. She's very nice. She was like, oh, hey, I think that's mine. <laughs> Hey, little baby. Have you been studying for your CPA? He said no. All I do is eat and sleep. Yes, more. People are saying that it's painful. I, I think it's probably uncomfortable, but I don't think that it's painful. They they push on the bag really hard like that um, to like it oh peach um to help it come out faster but i don't think it really hurts her and remember goats don't have teeth on the top row it's just gums on the top row um so it's mostly just it's just suckling actually do babies have teeth at all or do they grow teeth like kids can i just see something real quick sorry yeah he's got teeth but just on the bottom Yeah, that's a good point. It's probably more painful for the baby to not nurse because it gets really uncomfortable when their bags get really big. By bags, I mean udders. Hey, you guys are being boring. Bottom teeth. Wait, so then does that mean this is your baby too? Screamy McScream pants. <laughs> you guys look super really. Why are your ears like that? Oh. <laughs> Were you born with anxiety? What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, typically, goats have like two kids. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three. 
That's a boy. That's a girl. What about you guys? Sleepies? Me disturbing the peace? <laughs> There's two in here. Are you going to come out? You look like Pee Wee's sister. Oh my god, you're a big baby. Your poor mother. He's okay, he's okay, he's okay. Whoa, whoa. I got your feet. Is that better? Hi. You look confused and that's valid. How come you don't, oh. How come you don't have a neck and everybody else does? Were you born without a neck? I think so. That's okay, who needs it? Not you. Not you. What? Can you name 100 women? Can you count to three? Can you tell me who your mom is? <laughs> that one really overwhelmed him. <laughs> he said, I have a mom? That's not her. That's her. All right. She made that easy for you. Oh, you missed. Whoa, drama. Man, this mom really likes her kids. She don't like other people's kids though. You got baby mama drama. You ain't even got you no baby. You fugazi. What's up? Big Sean, anybody? Excuse me. See, that's why I, now I'm so confused because I could have sworn these two. I thought this was their mom because I thought they were twins. The two little black or the two darker ones. But I guess they're not related, or I guess they're not twins. What are you doing? Why are you, ow! She bit me. There's nothing in there. Oh. Okay, excuse me. She's got two teat spurs on that right teat. On the other side, too. A teat spur is like an extra teat, basically. <sighs> fun fact, not so fun fact about newborn baby goats, their poop is bright yellow. The more you know. So chat, our other task, do any of the moms in here look like they're thinking about having a baby? Are you thinking about, definitely not. You have to come with me. Anybody thinking of having a baby today?
Or is that a yes? No. Anybody thinking about having a baby? You? No. You? No. All right. I'm calling it. Are you? Why are you lying down? sauce over there. Ma'am, are you in labor, yes or no? Are you really? Oh shit, I was joking. No, she's just lazy. She's fine. Now Dakot's eating more. You good? No more? The other day, Eric had a mom that had a baby that was breached, and it was when my parents were here, and I came here with my parents, and my mom kept telling him, like, Maya, pull it out for you, Maya, pull it out for you. I have not pulled a baby out of a goat's womb for 10 years. And I was like, Mom, I don't, I don't know why you think I just remembered how to do that. I don't. Eric pulled it out. Thank you, ladies. Good luck with your deliveries. Okay. Now I need to come back and get Dakot. a universal language of chaos for all goats. Any doggies want more food? Geese, you want this? What am I getting? Oh, the car. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, I squished the cap in the door. Saved. getting to caught. Please enjoy your moment of peace and silence. Let's go.
My dear, bless you. All right, come here, Dakot. Dakot, come on. All right, enjoy your, I don't know. <laughs> enjoy your time with the goats and Koss, because she really likes y'all a lot. She's really glad you're here. Good girl. You know what's crazy is by the time I went to get Dakot over there, she had already jumped into the other goat's pasture, like the baby pasture, because she was on her way to escaping again. Ma'am. <laughs> ah. Cos, you know, this morning, you remember, you were so nice. Oh. I don't, I guess I'm just going to leave it. Remember this morning, you were wagging your tail, and you came over, and you said hi to me? Come here, ma'am. She's changed her mind since then. Alright, let's go play with some more babies, and then we'll bring their moms in, and then head out. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Curse my existence. Kick rocks. Chibook is down. She's down. She's alive. Oh. I picked you up. Oh my god! It's way heavier than she looks. Goodness. What do you think she weighs? Like 70 pounds? She felt really heavy. Alright, where are the babies? Hello, granddaughter. I see a baby doe. I see a baby goat. Hi. Here's a baby. What do you think, Chibook? He's nice. Hi, Lando. Hi. What's your uh, impression so far of humanity? Could be better, could be worse. <laughs> what are the sounds? Are you speaking to them? She's speaking to you. So, I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, she likes when I speak. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is a different breed from the other babies that we were just holding. Uh, their ears are way longer. She got really long ears. Um, they have like really prominent Roman noses. So like rounded out noses, like concave, convex noses, sorry. Um, and then they're just much more narrow. This is a dairy breed. So they're just like narrower goats. They're less stocky, less sturdy. Um, and they produce a lot more milk than the boa goats. I couldn't tell you why she's making all these noises. You don't have to make all those noises. sleepy. I don't know if she's grinding her teeth. Are you grinding your teeth? No. She's just making those noises. You sound like a rodent. Is that like right in the mic? <laughs> Hello. Ooh, that was some dried amniotic fluid. Delicious. This one was probably born yesterday or the day before. Tabuk. 
This is about goats now, not dogs. Okay. You're really vocal. You have a lot to say, huh? One of my favorite things about Nubians is when it's windy, their ears flap in the wind. Ma'am, <laughs> do you want to show them how you stand up? Because you're really good at it. I don't think she does. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel like you're in the womb right now? Because you're in fetal? Do you want to stand up? <laughs> Look, show them how you stand up. Wow, check that out. That's so good. You're ready for the Olympics. Olympic stander. Check that out, chat. Someone put a sick edit on it. Something about a blicky. She's picking up this foot. Why? Did you forget to put one of them down? Or does it hurt? Can does your foot hurt? Is there something wrong with your foot? Uh oh. What's wrong with your foot? Where is it? I'm gonna tell Eric. Okay, send them a picture. Is it swollen at the end? Oh, it is a little swollen there. Ouchie, man. What the heck? Eric, Eric, Eric. Peach. This baby has a swollen foot and isn't putting any weight on it. That's nice of you. All right. Told Eric about the baby's foot. We'll see. Okay, I'll put you back. I'm glad I asked it to stand up. I would not have noticed that. Okay, I'm gonna put you back over here. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. You sit with Chibook. That's nice, Chibook. Baby is injured, understand? Good girl. Chibuk got her vet degree in 2022, so that's really handy. All right, we're coming up on a baby gang. <laughs> you gonna pull up? Not you. <laughs> Everybody's panicking except for this guy. 
And by guy, I mean girl. This is a girl. Hello. This one, you are old at a whopping one week old. How does it feel? He doesn't feel anything. I keep saying he, but this is a girl. Check out that standing action. Whoa, big stretch! <laughs> That's a girl, this is her brother. Her brother, little apricot man. I think this goat's so cute. Can I pick you up? Oh, I lost him. And then these three are a couple days. I think this one was probably yesterday or the day before. That one's really pretty. I like the socks a lot. Nike. And then this boy uh, with the weird dark spots, uh, I think is a few days as well. Those dark spots will probably turn white as an adult. And then the one peeing is a boy. Hi, Eric. Hi, I almost forgot. Outside the, my fences, mm -hmm. right on the other end of the uh, garden area, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw her, but there was a, a hen sitting on a nest, and yesterday a boy goose hatched out. Oh. And I wasn't oh. sure if any more have hatched out or what, but to keep her not just running off, I always, uh, there's a little water there that needs to be filled up with water, and I take like several handfuls of the uh, food with a little dog food. Sure. And put it right on her nest by her eggs. Is she in your garden or she's just outside your garden? She, yeah, she's outside. If you just walk around the outside of the garden and go over there, you see where I have two branches kind of angling down and she has a very clearly defined nest. Yeah. Do you see, are you out there? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm in the front pasture right oh. now. I'm about to bring the moms back in, but I'll go do that oh, oh. after and yeah. let, let oh, you know oh. what I find. The front pasture? Yes. With Chibouk. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you're about to let the moms back in from the lane. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't understand. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. I like this one. I hadn't seen this one before, so he's only a couple days old. He's all brown. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, ah! <laughs> he will let me. Can I pick you up? Whoa, sorry. <laughs> what the hell? This one's very new. No, I'm good, thank you. Sand. Why aren't you standing? <laughs> standing. I'm still standing better than a baby goat because I'm not a baby goat. I'm a full grown adult. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Looking like a superstar. Looking like a little kid. The little apricot guy. I want to pick him up. He won't let me. Mr. Man, I'll pay you in quarters if you let me pick you up. You understand? <laughs> I owe you quarters. He doesn't like me. 
What about him? He's got a cool bracelet. What is that? Freaking Rolex? <laughs> Rolex doesn't like me. All right, we got 20 more minutes on the camera battery. Let's go check on the brand new baby from this morning that Eric got to nurse this morning. And then we'll bring these moms back in and go feed that goose and then call it a day. We're not calling it a day, actually. We're going back to stream more at Alves. It does look like an ankle monitor. Hi, Mom. I know. Okay, well, you guys can see the baby without freaking the mom out too much. He's he got his head up, which is better than this morning. This morning he was like eepy laying on the ground because he didn't have any strength. So it's cool that he's sitting with his head up. That's a good sign. Saved by Eric. Where's the little ankle monitor? I want him to confess his crimes. I see him. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Are you on parole? What'd you do? Chat, what did he do? When's your court date, buddy? Tax fraud. Tax fraud, robbery. He got a DUI. Sorry for yelling at you. He's cute. He's a cute one. He's really strong too. Whoa, check that out. All right, let's get their moms back in here so they can all have a, a snacky. That. 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 See, he usually brings them in here with food. I didn't bring any because I already fed them three times today. That. Goats are way too damn smart for their own good, man. That's a peaceful protest right there. You seeing this shit? I think that's the first time he's heard that bell. Shocking. Goats, call your mothers. They don't speak English yet. You seeing this? Yeah, cool. You guys are, yeah. Come here, then. Come on. That's crazy. None of these goats have names except for that one. Ow! 
step on my foot. Her name's Oreo because she looks like one. Classic. Everybody, thank you for attending doggy daycare. Your mothers will be here to pick you up. Your mothers will be here to pick you up shortly. There's drama. Oh! You gonna take that? Well, that was poorly executed. What are y'all trying to, what are the rules of this game? Pretty sure it's just king of the platform. They're both winners. Or losers. All right. Okay, really quick. Let's, do you have time to give that geese food? All right. Chat, has it been 20 minutes from when I said that? Probably not. We're gonna go give that goose food and see if she hatched any more goslings and then we're gonna go back to Alveus. It's gonna take like two seconds to get back there. All right, all right. It's called jump and push. Oh, where's Koss to bark at us while we're walking around? It doesn't feel the same. get to see Eric's garden if you'd like. It's really nice. He does a really good job with it. I, that baby's leg isn't broken. I think she just got stepped on. Hi, Dots. Has Eric met Stompy? Eric has come over. I think he's met Stompy, yeah. Or I don't remember if I just like walked him around or if he went in the enclosures or what. Wait, I thought there was one goose back here with eggs. Why am I now seeing more than one goose? Where is the nest? Well, this is Eric's garden. Don't talk to me like that. Not during Women's Month. Oh, she's over here. Hi, Miss Ma'am. Did you have any more babies? Yeah. Oh! I'm gonna give you food. I'm literally just here to give you food and for them to see your babies. Okay, look. I hate this job. Okay, yeah. For you. Good lord. Okay, she's got two. Don't cry. It's not about you. Okay, well. <laughs> Here you go, for you. You're, yeah. My future kids are going to be cursed with all the bad energy I've gotten from geese today. Spans across generations. You guys got fed literally three times today. Three. And you live in a giant pasture with a ton of grass.
we got to go. Those geese have a huge pond right next to her. I don't know if you guys saw it, but she'll get water there. Guys, ready to go back to Alveus and see our goats? Everybody's getting a snack. Excellent, excellent. Start saying bit right now. Just wait until we get on the road, baby. It's gonna be way worse out there. Yay! Goodbye, goats. We have other goats to visit. Can we say bye to the puppy? No, that's three gates away, dude. I'll drive. We spent so much time with Cutla. It's hot in here. Check on injured baby. The injured baby is just as injured as it was 15 minutes ago. Um, I texted Eric about it. Eric is handling injured baby. Trust, when I say there's like a million things, I, I could spend like weeks here, weeks, um, doing animal care and you know, cleaning stuff and hanging out with the animals and whatever, but at the end of the day, they're not my animals. Um, and I don't have the ability to do that. So, All right, I gotta open this gate. <clears throat> Hold. My mom wants to know how long you've had your license before I get in the car with you. Uh, actually, I only have my permit but my mom said it's okay to drive other people. If it's okay with your mom. Okay, party people. I open the gate, now I gotta close the gate. My mom says I have to have a license. Oh. Well then you gotta get out of the car. We will be back at Alveus in two minutes. I absolutely expect Fs within those two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Okay, just be patient. Nobody move! Nobody panic. Nobody move. I'm still standing like a little kid because I'm a little kid because I'm a baby goat. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. 
song from the animated movie with the little gorilla teenager and the elephant. Guys, we're back. Oh, are you serious? terrible. Stand by. This is like the actual worst timing for this possible. I can't open that. Sorry guys, the gate was stuck. I had to take the part. Better not close. Jeez, Louise. I know. I don't think we're F though. That's... Is that Nick? <laughs> Coming to save the day. Great. Howdy. That shit's broke. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna fix it. Show them now. <laughs> We're here. Oh my god, look, there are goats over there. The goats! I have missed my own goats so much. Hello. Hello, my queen. And oatmeal. Oh, 
Okay, I need a dwink. Yeah, and by dwink, I mean water. You know what? No, I don't. I mean a freaking Dr. Pepper. I deserve a Dr. Pepper, damn it. I deserve it. ASMR. What'd you think? Taste test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does this bitch ever look at her chat? I want to see the fucking goats on a seesaw. Spam this grandma to see the goats on a seesaw. Okay, first of all, yes, I read my chat. Second, uh, I don't cater to your every whim. <laughs> so I will not be taking you outside to see the goats on a seesaw. You think I didn't, you think I didn't look at my chat for that long that I didn't see that spam? You've been taking, you had my chat taken over for the past like 10 minutes. throw the grandmas at her and how how are they going to do that they can't they don't have arms so i feel pretty safe right now i am not going to show you the goats on a seesaw because i have something more fun to do Did you swap it? Yeah. Oh! I didn't know you could see me. Hey. Alright, guys. Welcome to my stream. Where I teach you about going all out for prom. With Men's Warehouse. Don't, cutie, don't throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> she said my bad. Uh, welcome to my stream where I teach you about how to go all out for prom with Men's Warehouse. Guys, prom season is just around the corner. And it's time to find your look. How many of you are going to prom? Smile. Yeah, cutie, we can go outside after. Me, I'm 33, oh, I'm 30, oh, I'm 34, oh, I'm 25, oh. Okay, well, Cutie's going to prom. Um, so, Men's Warehouse has the hottest styles of the season for you all, every single one of you that's going to prom. Uh, and they've definitely got you covered for the big night out. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Men's Warehouse makes it super easy to look your best with cool designer styles and a variety of mix and match colors and size options. And you can rent online or in over 600 stores nationwide. Wow. One-on-one uh, -on -one consultations in-store are great if you don't know where to start. Uh, like most of you, you get a one-on-one -on -one consultation. And they're not just about suits. They're all about celebrating you. Right now, you can get a suit or tux rental. Starting at $159.99, that's a rental. Or you can buy your look with suit packages of $279.99. Plus, whether you rent or buy your look, you get a free shirt and tie. That's a good deal. A free shirt and tie. Wow. Wow. Um, I have to discuss my prom night. Um, I went to three proms in high school, all with the same boyfriend. 
Uh, nothing crazy. I cried at one of them, the third one, and it's because I thought I looked ugly. But I would not have cried and I would not have felt that way if I had went to men's warehouse. Let's see what they have. What color tuxedo would you be wearing? Um, I don't know. Probably a pink one. Oh, this is sick. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Think pink. Subtly textured stripe front of this four-button vest features a paisley black for hidden drum. Wicked. Proms and formals. Wow. Wait, what do they have in yellow? Oh, talk to them. Look how luxurious. Amazing. Luxury. Men's warehouse. What else we got here? These guys are looking real happy, except for this one. But you can't see his- oh, there he is. They're all looking real happy. Alright, we got more happy guys. We got this guy. He's popular. <laughs> wow. This actually looks like someone I went to high school with, like, a lot. It's kind of crazy. Wow. Look, it's Tubbo. Oh, my God, a red one. Any of y'all rocking this for prom? Anybody? I got a Discord DM of someone impersonating you. Guys, I will never message you on Discord. If you get a message from somebody, it was not me. <laughs> yeah, they're rocking it. They're rocking it for prom. Thank you for listening. That is all. That will be all. Um, Cutie wants to see the goat seesaw. But the backpack's gonna die, huh? Oh, no, I can, I can oh, okay. You guys wanna go out to the goat seesaw one time? We can bring some grain out there and see if the goats will come with us. So Cutie can see it. And then, uh, and then we're gonna do show and tell. I hope you guys don't mind. It's almost four o'clock. Um, I like, it's Face and I both need to take a lunch break. Um, we've been going since like, I mean, I haven't eaten since 9 a.m. No, 8 a.m. And then I'll come back and do show and tell. I have one on ya. Yeah. What's for lunch? Oh, I'm actually really excited about it. I bought, um, uh, what is, what is the brand? Is it Gardein? I think I brought Gardein veggie burgers. Um, and I bought like all the burger fixings at the grocery store yesterday because I've been craving burgers lately. And so I'm going to make myself a burger. I have like onions I'm going to slice and a tomato and I got burger sauce. And I'm going to cook a veggie burger with patties. It's going to be delicious. There's a chance I have to do show and tell tomorrow. Guys, I might have to do show. I have to leave at 5 o'clock. And show and tell takes like an hour nowadays. I might have to do show and tell tomorrow. But we can go see the goat seesaw right now, and then I need to go get food. Um, but I have to leave at 5 today, so I think we have to move it to tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Wow, so nice. You guys are so nice. Thank you very much. All right. All right. You guys want to go see the seesaw? Hmm? Oh. Space is turning the backpack back on. Stand by. 
Stand by. Spam this grandma to see the goats on a seesaw. That was a fun stream. Did you guys enjoy the farm? It was great. Yeah, Eric's awesome. I'm glad you guys got to see him. Finally, he's the best. The best! Nice last minute stream. You know what's crazy is the goat seesaw was a last minute stream too, and I think that stream also kicked ass. So maybe I just need to stop uh, being responsible and planning. All right, you good? All right, let's go see the seesaw. Seesaw. Should I stop streaming here? Uh, yeah, you can. Don't. Oh, everybody lounging, having a good time. Is it a beautiful day? Can I offer you some snacks and a sea salt? Look at her itch. She's so resourceful. Is the chat phone? Did I leave it in the car? Or do you have it? I think you left it. Okay. Yeah, I don't need it. I'm just gonna use my phone. Right, I'm just getting some grain. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. hello. One away from here. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Dotes. Come with me. We never were. We've been here before. Why are we always stuck and running from the bullet? The bullet. We never learned. We've been here before. <laughs> Look, they've clearly used it because it does not look the same as when I set it up the other day. Doubts? For you. <laughs> I have nothing. Go, Tripper, go! They clearly love it. You know, honestly, I thought the grain would help, but I think it made it significantly worse. <gasps> go, B. Go, B. Don't go. Cutie left, didn't she? She left, first of all. She asked for this. She made my chat spam for this. And then she left during a bounty. What a bad friend. That's crazy. Why is nobody using the seesaw for its intended purpose? Nobody's staying focused right now. Oh. Wait, we've never seen Kylie use it. This is huge. Good job, Kylie. Wow. Jeez, Louise. Okay. That needs to be. There you go. I 
fix it, kinda. Trip, you like the seesaw. Yeah, show us how it's done. Yeah, Bido, go Bido. Go Bido. Oh, she's stupid. Go Bido, go Bido, go Bido, go Bido. Go Bido. We should have uh, brought the phone out and done the same thing. <laughs> just left it, like right into all this and do a cam. Except, I don't know that they're gonna do anything with it after we leave. I think the novelty of the seesaw has worn off in 24 hours. Go Kylie, go Kylie, go Kylie, go Kylie. Okay. Thought you had to screw it to the wheel to stay in place. You know, if I was an overachiever, I would do a dowel underneath the plank and then screw the dowel into the, the spool so that it stayed centered. But, uh, I'm not crazy, and it works like this, so. Next, a boxing bag. Honestly, if I ever find a uh, punching bag while thrifting, I will purchase it and I will hang it up so that they can express some of their anger in a healthier way. Okay, the goats hate the seesaw. It's decided. All they want is the grain. We've never won, we've been here before. Why are we always stuck to run in front? Yeah, I got a call from Eric at 8, and then I went to Eric's at 8.30, so then I ate, and then I went to Eric's at 8.30, and then I was at Eric's from 8.30 till 10, and then I came back here and I filmed a voiceover from 10 to 10.45, and then I started mucking at 11, and then we went live here at 12, and now it's 4. And I have an hour. All right, guys. This was not worth, the goats don't even like the seesaw today. I'm going to raid Alveus. It is Saturday. Ah, drum. I will be live uh, tomorrow for show and tell. Um, I don't know if there's a volunteer day tomorrow because Connor's not here. I, I, I don't know, that's a Nick question. Um, but I will stream, it's not Saturday. Didn't I say it's Friday? Today is Saturday, today is, oh, I did say that. Today is Friday, tomorrow's Saturday. So thanks, cutie. You really got to see the best part. Oh my God, Pee Wee. Go Pee Wee, go. Go Pee Wee, go. No. Oh, he's stupid. Oh. Bido! I will do show and tell tomorrow because I ran out of time today, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow for show and tell. Prayers and chat for Pee Wee. He gets bullied sometimes. Is that a freaking orange? Oh yeah, I threw an orange out here, like ages ago. Yo, that's gross. Is your head sucking it? I think your head's
head stuck in there. Rated. Excellent. I think her head is stuck in there. <laughs>